Hello, so for today I'm going to show you how to link your BitPocket account to your Android Studio. So what we are going to show what I'm going to show you is uh, I'm going to create a repository in BitPocket and that repository is what we're going to use in Android Studio. Alright, so let's go to BitBucket. Alright, so I'm already logged in and uh, let's create our repository. So for this example, we'll just use a tissue repository. Let's call it tutorial one. Um, keeping this private and choosing the repository as git android studio also supports mercurial i think but uh for this tutorial we'll show you how to use git okay so take note our repository name is tutorial one then okay click create repository okay our repository in bitbucket is now ready set up so in linking our Android Studio and Bitbucket uh, we're going to follow the same process that that uh, we usually do as if we're not using uh, Android Studio so what we're going to do is uh, create the, the path to your uh, project initialize it using git in it and then add the remote repository uh, in this case this one so we're going to add it in our studio okay let's open up Android Studio okay here's Android Studio what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Android Studio project now if you already have a project in Bitbucket and you want to check it out from Android Studio going to select this option but since this is going to be our new project, we have to select start a new Android Studio project. Okay. And our project name will be the same as what we had for our repository. Remember I highlighted it before? So it's going to be tutorial one. This one one that I've highlighted. It's going to be the same as our Bitbucket uh, remote repository. Right? So, I'll leave everything else as default. Because that's not important right now. What we need to show is how to link up Bitbucket and Android Studio. Okay. Let's finish. Okay, Android Studio is now loaded. <laughs> so what we have here is a project on our local machine. And if we want to li link this up to our Bitbucket repository, the one that we've just uh, created, what we have to do is to initialize this project just like what it says here initialize the project and then we're going to add our remote repository so if we're going to initialize it we could do it from here in the UI by going to by clicking the VCS menu option 
then click enable version control integration and then select git git okay and then click okay what it does is let's look at the version control window what this does is it runs the git init command for us so so if you look at it here it goes to the directory of our project and then run the git init command similar to this one went to the directory of our project and then run the git init command now i'm going to show you something we have this brown colors this brown colors for our files brown 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 and here another brown so when a file uh, is colored brown it means that it's not yet committed into our git repo and when it is already committed it will turn to color blue okay just take note of that but uh, today let's for now let's go and start adding our remote repository so we copy this URL copy it now I'm not sure if there is a way to do this via the UI I'm not fun not that familiar but for now this is what I do so I copy the URL and then I open up the terminal I just go one step and then I add it manually paste and then that's it so we now have a git remote repository for this project to verify let's go and look at i think it's remote dash v okay yeah so we have now this url for our remote okay so next step is to commit our first set of files so what we're going to do is we're going to commit it see this one commit changes it's the vcs icon with the up arrow or you can go also here and then there commit changes but i usually just click this button because it's much easier so click it uh, no changes detected no why because all of our files are still not yet added into our repository so just to be sure that we're going to add everything let's go to the project view so this is our project then right click on there go to git and then add add them add so if you look at the color name all now turned to green so it means we now have files added into our git repository so to verify that to confirm that we could go to our terminal and type git status and you'll see the new files being added now these files needs to be committed we can commit it click on this button and then our commit message uh, it's just uh, initial commit usual 
initial limit. Now you can go and proceed and click commit here or you can do a commit and push. What I usually do is I commit and push because I always always frequently push code into my repository. Well at least this one we're already sure that this is working because this is the initial template that Android Studio has created for us. So let's go ahead and click this one. And it's going to push to our master master branch. Or if you want to have a different branch, you'd click this and then type in the branch that you would like. And then it will automatically create your remote branch on git on bitbucket. Okay. But uh, I want this to be on the master, so click push. Right. Let's look. It should have the files color turn to color blue or it's normal. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, let's double check on our repository. Let's look at our commits. There's no commits yet. Hmm. I got an error in this bucket. Okay, that's it. We've done our commit, this one, but why is it that it will it did not push the code? Okay. Let's try it again. Click. So next, we are going to push our code. PCS push. Okay. Nothing to push. What's up? Let's do this manually. Get push the shoe origin. My 
faster. Ah. So, for pushing our code for the first time, we're going to push it for the first time. What we're going to do is do it manually because we have to enter our password. Now once it it caches our password, we can now do it via the UI. So let's verify in let's verify in Bitbucket if our commit is really there. It's there. Initial commit. Committed five minutes ago. Oh, because we've committed five minutes ago on our local. Alright, so let's show you another one. Let's say we're going to change this. Hello world or let's go to the string. Strings. I'm going to change this file. So if the file is changed the color will also change. Hello open source tutorials. Notice that it turned into blue. So that's it. And then we're going to commit this. And we'll push it as well into our remote repository. So Let's end this uh, change the hello world stream to hello urban source tutorials. Commit, I could just commit it as is, or do commit and push. Let's do commit and push. Then click push. It says here one file committed. Change the hello world stream to hello open source tutorials. And it's asking us for our password. Let's type it in. Then click remember password. So our next push will no longer require for that password. So it says here push successful. Push one click. Let's check again on our hit pocket. Refresh the page. And there it is. So that's it for our tutorials. So I hope you learned something. Uh, just add in your questions in our the comment sections below and I'll try to answer them if I know them. Alright? Thank you and happy programming. Bye bye!